Hello everyone and welcome back guys to iRacing. Finally, we have got some iRacing back on my channels. But yeah, today we are back on iRacing. I recently renewed a one year membership on the, on the platform. And really, you know, over these next 12 months, I want to try and do as many sort of different races as possible. And I think iRacing is one of the best platforms for that. You know, I'm really looking forward to hopefully doing some endurance racing. Uh, some open wheelers, anything, all sorts of cool, weird and wonderful things like that. But obviously, like most people, you start your racing career back in the Mazda car. This is the Advanced Mazda Cup. I actually got put in Division 1. This is the first Celsius. race I've done back on this sim. But the lights okay, are on and the go. lights are seven. now off. There we go, it's lights out. And away we go, ready back on iRacing once more here. It's been an okay start to this race there in towards turn one there we have a guy Kenneth trying to look right around my outside there but he's not going to be able to make that work he is actually going to drop back miles off the exit of the corner here so it almost already looks like we've sort of filtered out into two different groups here but I will just say I actually had a look at the results after this race safe to say I definitely got chucked into a bit of a deep end coming back onto this AC I think that is uh, Jean Sebastian Running very, very wide off the exit of turn two there, and unfortunately losing himself. I say turn two, about turn four even, losing himself a huge amount of time there. But yeah, I definitely got chucked back in to the deep end here, unfortunately. I had a look after the race. I've got 2,000 eye rating. Uh, the strength of field in this event was about 1,800, but the top two guys had, I think the, the race winner uh, had over 4,000 eye rating. The guy in second had near enough 3k as well. And unfortunately for me, my very first race back, yeah, I was a bit rusty, unfortunately as well. This, I think, was the very last event on this track, uh, obviously, this this week. So, unfortunately, it meant that basically everyone else I was up against most likely had done it quite a few times before. I've obviously never driven this track before. I think it's Jefferson, if I'm not mistaken. It's part of Summit Point Raceway okay, Matt, as well. But it's like the weird sort of junior no track that's not even connected to it whatsoever. So, yeah, a little bit strange with that one. But, yeah, I'd never driven this track before. So, I did, you know, a bit of practice, but I hadn't done too much. And I sort of just wanted to do... A race again on iRacing here. You can see by the end though of lap two, we're all over the back of Rafael Jimenez here as we come through the final couple of corners. They take a bit too much curb through this horrible S section here, and this is just one of those horrible moments where right, everything right. seems to just slowly but surely slip more and more out of control. They get way too early on the power. I forget how unforgiving iRacing, well, how realistic iRacing is obviously, therefore being quite unforgiving the on the whole. So yeah, a little bit of a newbie tank, mistake too. from myself, but you know, certainly doing this Mazda race, I forgot just how much fun iRacing is. Honestly, it is probably, you know, I know it's the same for a lot of people, but it probably is my favourite handler model on any sort of sims or games. Now, I'm quite a big fan of a set of course around race rooms, but iRacing's, yeah, I'd, obviously it is, you know, it's a bit more realistic than the pair of them, but I, you know, both, I quite like both of them as well, but iRacing's is still very, very enjoyable. I've never really you sort of got on with R-Factor's model, but you just see there, she's on babbling on. Two guys there almost take each other out. I think one of them has been sent in to the forest there of the side of the circuit, so not exactly ideal in this for Sectors him, but we're now up into P7 once more here. Ideally, you know, I would like to try and finish back in at the top five of this race by the very end here, but obviously we'll have to wait and see how that goes here in towards turn well this horrible well I say horrible braking zone it's one of those ones where it's so rewarding if you get it right but very very unlikely that you're able to do so there one lap later though we're all over the back now of Sean Holloway here as we come through but you can just see there he dips the wheel on the grass unfortunately there's nowhere I can go to try and avoid him there Pedro actually gets involved in that one as well or even have probably got the best of both of us there so yeah very very frustrated with that one there Sean just ran it a little bit wide nothing I could really do to avoid that one there and unfortunately that sent me a bit down the order just a little bit there which is a bit annoying but yeah you know still luckily we didn't get too much damage from that one and we can continue and soldier on here but on to the final couple of laps though of this race it's been quite quiet on the whole unfortunately you know, we sort of found ourselves in a bit of no man's land at this stage of the race here but two laps to go laps what i definitely must do when i get back onto this over the next couple of days is re-enable my you know manual clutch i didn't realize you know i was watching i think it's matt malone i'm a big fan of him on iRacing. i was watching some of his videos and you don't I, I didn't actually realize prior how much quicker it is to race you know with a proper clutch you know i usually just race you know two pedals and that is it but yeah on, on the on the masters you definitely need a clutch pedal as well, which is a little bit frustrating for me, but, you know, certainly nothing that I can't adapt to. I've got a clutch pedal, you know, on my pedals. I've got T3PAs, so it is all fine like that. But, yeah, moving on then 
in towards the final lap of this race. Everyone is looking quite dandy at the moment. We're still quite nicely in P6 there. Until my wheel decided to go for one of the nice buggy double down shifts there. Unfortunately set me out over the grass. That is going to be a completely open door from Dominic there. And yeah, a bit unfortunate uh, that we kind of got screwed by my wheel there. But luckily that's not too common an occurrence. I was a little bit scared from then to the end if it would do it again. But it was... Actually, all right. There's seven instant points now for my first race. I can certainly take that, especially with how sort of easy it can be to pick up instant points around here. It's a very sort of weird little circuit, you know, especially through those S's at the end of the lap here. Yeah, very, very strange little circuit on the hobby. Yeah, certainly quite an enjoyable one when you get it right. But yeah, over the next 12 months, so I'm really, really looking to try and get into iRacing. There'll be plenty of content coming to this channel. What I'm probably going to do is try and live call a lot more of it, though over the coming weeks as well, you know, so it's a little bit more, you know, it's a bit better and, you know, a bit more fun as well here. But through the final couple of corners, though, to finish off this race, we are going to come through 4P7. That almost got screwed by those final couple of curbs once more here. Very, very enjoyable to get back in to these Mazda cars. Plenty to learn, though, once more on iRacing, but it's going to be P7 in my first yeah, race back. Unfortunately, yeah. dropped my SR. I think I was running 2005 I rating and 3.69 safety rating we'll C time. license. And I think, unfortunately, I dropped back down to C360 with about 1980 I rating as well there. But there we are then, guys. That has been my very first race back on iRacing. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. As I said, I really want to try and start doing, you know, longer races and also live commentary as well. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video.